and you're wondering what kind of content, what kind of videos you'll see here, I post videos that have to do with everything beauty related. Everything from makeup to skincare to shoes to handbags, pretty much anything that's beauty related, you're going to find here. So if that is something that you are into, be sure to give that subscribe button a good smash. And also, don't forget to click on that notification bell. That way, you all can get notified for my upcoming videos or whenever I post a video. So, before we get started with today's video, I just want to say a huge thank you to all of you for your support. Watching my videos, clicking on my videos, liking, subscribing, clicking on that notification bell, and commenting. They're all free. And it helps to show YouTube that people are actually watching my videos. The one thing I have noticed in the past few months is that YouTube, I'm guessing it's YouTube, they're kind of like taking away my subscribers, taking some of you away. So I think in general I lost like eight subscribers. I don't know if it has to do with the algorithm. Am I saying that correctly? Algorithm? So I don't know. So this year... I'm really going to work harder to um, improve my content, to get more videos up more often so that we can try to fix that problem. So I've watched a lot of videos where a lot of other YouTubers have said mentioned that they've also had little issues with losing subscribers and they're saying it's like a YouTube thing. I don't know, but um, I, I hope um, that's something that can get resolved with YouTube. But anyways, enough about that. Before I continue and tell you what video we're doing today, I just want to say I do apologize ahead of time. We have a little bit of a storm going on here. So it's raining, thunder, and, and you know, all that fun stuff. So I hope, hopefully you guys don't hear that. It won't interfere with the video, but if it does, I apologize. Now, to get on to this video, the first video of 2023. About two weeks ago, I put on all of my social media sites telling you guys I wanted to do a Q&A, get to know me, get to know my channel, and to ask me whatever you wanted. I got about 30 questions, and out of the, blah, 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 can't talk today, <laughs> and out of those 30 questions, I chose, I think, like 18. So I'm going to go ahead and answer them. I have them all right here. So let's go ahead and get started. You're going to want to go get yourself maybe something to drink, a snack, you know. Let's go ahead and get into this. So the very first question that I got asked is how do you decide which makeup you're going to you're going to try? Okay. So pretty much I really don't think too much into it. Like it just kind of depends what I'm wearing for that day or Normally, let's just be honest, normally I stick to neutral colors. Unless I'm going to go out somewhere, then I might, you know, what should I say, spice it up. I might do more colors, uh, colorful look. But I'm, I'm a neutral gal. I like my browns. I like, you know, um, like the creamy brown colors and the, um, what's the other colors I'm thinking of? But, yeah, I'm more into neutral colors. Um, I have been exploring a little bit more, going out of my comfort zone, using more colorful uh, looks, more shades, and I want to continue doing that. So, yeah. The next question is, what is the main purpose you want others to get from your YouTube channel? The main purpose? The main purpose um, I would want others to get from my YouTube channel is that it's a beauty channel, and this is kind of a hard question to answer. Um, my, the main purpose is that I post videos that are beauty related, and if all of you, for those of you who are into beauty related type videos, you've come to the best place. So I hope that answers that question. It may not, but next question. Where do you see your channel in the next three years? Oh, that's a good question. Where do I see my channel in the next three years? I hope to see it growing. Um, I'm hoping within the next three years, I can get my, get my channel monetized. 
and just to grow with all of you, get more subscribers, and of course improve on my my videos. I want to really improve on my videos, and I really want to improve also um, with my editing abilities. You guys, I just am now learning to edit because the past three years, my husband's been doing all the editing and so I'm trying to learn now so that I can do that myself and try to get more videos up for you all. Next question. Why did you start a YouTube channel? Okay. For one, I am a makeup lover. I absolutely love makeup. I can sit here all day and, and play with makeup and do 10,000 different looks. And I just love it. I wouldn't want to do anything else. I mean, I'm not a professional at all. I've never went to makeup school. I just do this for fun because I really enjoy it. Um, it's just something that I'm very passionate about. So that's reason number one why I started a YouTube channel. Number two is I've been watching this YouTuber. Her name is Leah Janae. I'll be sure to link her a link to her YouTube channel down below, or actually put it up in one of the cards above. I've been watching I've been watching her videos for years. I don't know how long, but several years now. And after watching her videos for so long, I decided, why can I do this? And for those of you, well, most of you don't may not know me that well at all. I'm shy. I'm very very shy. I'm a very shy person. Shy. Well, I'm not quiet, but I'm shy. And you know, I thought, if she's doing this, why can't I do this YouTube channel? And I thought, oh, but you're shy. I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can get in front of a camera and, and film myself. I feel a little, I felt a little insecure about that. But then I said, you know what? I want to do it. I want to do it. And you know what? It is the best choice I've ever made for myself because I'm so passionate about this my channel I'm so passionate about beauty and I absolutely love making these videos for all of you and I love to see your comments and then when you guys comment on my videos it's just it just brings a smile to my face it's just, I love it I love when people watch my videos they like they share they comment and it's just it's just it, it, you have no idea the joy it brings me so thank you the next question Ooh, this is a good one. What was your favorite video to make? Okay, my favorite video to make was my trip to South Africa in 2019, the Lions Park. Now, if you all have not seen that video, you need to go watch it because the ending is very shocking. You might get a little freaked out towards it when you see the ending. It has to do with the Lion Cup and what happened. I'm not going to say anymore. You want to know what happened with me and a lion cub? You need to go watch that video. I'll try to link that up here as well. So that is my absolute favorite video. Um, like I said, it was a trip to South Africa, my first time to South Africa. And let me just tell you now, I am obsessed with South Africa. I just went um, in November. Love, absolutely love. So that was my favorite video to make. Next question. What are three things we should know about you? Okay. Well, number one, I'm shy. Can you tell yet? <laughs> number two, I am a person that absolutely loves horror movies. I'm a horror fanatic. Yes. Um, I love, I think my favorite horror movie is Insidious. Um, number three is, um, that's a good one. See, I can't think now. You guys are pretty, I, I may put on the spot. No, just kidding. Number three, um, I love to travel. It's so doesn't love to travel. I think everybody loves to travel. However, I don't like doing the long flights. The long flights can be a little much, especially now during winter. You go on long flights or even short flights in the turbulence. 
let me just be honest, I'm not into turbulence. It freaks me out when the plane starts shaking. I, I'm not a fan of turbulence. What is, what's the hardest thing about starting a YouTube channel? There's so many things that are hard about starting a YouTube channel. Um, I think the number one is staying, um, like uploading regularly. In the beginning, I was doing that really, really well. I was being really good at uploading like at least two videos a week. And in the past few years, it kind of went down to a month, two months before I posted a video. And that's one thing I really want to work on this year. That's one reason why I'm trying to, well not trying, I'm learning how to edit my videos so that way I can film more. So my goal is to really to make more time to get more videos up. I'm not going to promise you guys this. I'm, I'm working hard to try to make it happen, but I want to go back to posting two videos a week. I would like to do more. I don't know if it will happen, but I'm going to try my best. Um, the other thing I think is, was this is not a problem for me, but it's to be like, come up with video ideas. I don't have that problem. I have a whole book with video ideas. I mean, I have it also up here. I, I can always think of a video to do for you guys. But I think that's just the two hardest parts, you know, to be able to be consistent and to maybe for other people to come up with content. Me, content-wise, I've got no issues with that because I have so many different ideas, so many video ideas I want to do for you guys. Um, if you could be any super superhero, who would you be? Oh, goodness. Um, well, I don't think he's really a superhero, but you know Ma uh, Mandalorian? I say that because, I mean, I'm a fan of Grogu, who isn't. Grogu is really adorable. So, I would say Mandalorian because of Grogu. I know it's, I don't think, correct me if I'm wrong, Mandalorian is not a superhero, but that's who I would say. Okay. What would be your upcoming goals for 2023? I think I mentioned this in one of the other questions. My upcoming goals, I'll just say again, is to really work hard on my channel. I want to grow. I want to get more subscribers and to get more content, more videos about my channel more often and just to grow. I want to get more, more videos. I want to get more companies, beauty companies to work with me. Um, and uh, just build, build in, and I want to grow, continue growing our, you know, our circle, my YouTube family circle. So that's really important for me. That's something I want to do this year. What kind of coverage do you prefer from your foundation? That's a very good question. What, for me, I'm in my late 40s. You know, I'm just going to be real with you guys. I'm 49. I'm turning 50 in March. I don't feel my age. No, no, no. Sometimes. Sometimes we feel our age. Sometimes. Foundation-wise, for me, you know, I have to have something for dry skin. Okay. My skin's very, very dry. You know, I'm going through all the hormones and all that stuff you guys don't want to hear about. Because it's going to be, it's going to bore you to death. Has to do with being postmenopausal, dry skin, adult acne, which you know that'll be in our video. Um, I'm gonna get into. Um, so I prefer something for dry skin. I've been using the L'Oreal Inflatable, and there's one other one. Um, I'll link it down below. I don't really remember the name of it at the moment. It's, it was recommended by us, another YouTuber, and seems to be working. I'm wearing it today. But, you know, one thing that's different today is my skin is looking much better. But stay tuned for that. I'm going to do a video um, talking about adult acne in your 40s. So if that's something you guys are interested in seeing, let me know. If not, I won't do it. All right, next question. <laughs> do you wear fake eyelashes? Okay. I do. I don't have any now because the ones I have, I had to declutter them. I had to throw them away. Um, I'm still working on, I mean, I, I can get them on. There's, there's times where I can't get them on at all. I'm still a newbie when it comes to the eyelashes. So that's, that's something I'm working on. That's something I want to work on more this year. 
is to be able to get the eyelashes on and wear them more often. So that's something I will be doing. What is your favorite drugstore drugstore can't talk today drugstore brand? Um, I like Wet n Wild. I like what I have a few, but I think Wet n Wild is my favorite drugstore brand. And also, um, I have more. And my goodness, for the life of me, I can't think of the name. I'm having like a I'm having like a blank. Um, I forgot the name. But that's to say, right now, really, it's Wet n Wild because it's very affordable. Also, like L'Oreal. And there's another one for. I forgot, I can't think of the name. Okay, well, we'll come back to it. I'll think of it. All right, next question. Is there any kind of makeup you cannot leave the house with? Gosh, yes. Lipstick. Well, actually not lipstick, lip gloss. I'm really more into lip glosses lately than I am lipsticks. And that's kind of not a good thing because I have a whole basket, makeup basket, full of lipsticks. Which I did. I am wearing lipstick today. Although it looks like it's kind of worn off. But I'm more of a lipstick gal, so yeah, I, I always have to have a lipstick with me or a lip balm. So that's something I really cannot, like, leave the house with. What is your most cherished beauty product? Okay. My most cherished beauty product is the Huda, Huda palette that I won in a contest. Let me just grab it really quickly. One second. Okay, I won a contest over the summer, and this is one of the palettes I, I won. I am, I know this is an oldie, I know this is an oldie, but I am absolutely obsessed with this palette. This is my absolute favorite. You guys already know, you guys know what, what the whole color story looks like. I'm obsessed. I use this all the time. I'm like literally neglecting the rest of my makeup palettes because of this. All right, next question. What is your favorite uh, drugstore lip product? Wet n Wild. I just love the lip products. I love the lip glosses, lipsticks. That's my favorite. If you can use one eye makeup product, what would it be? Eyeshadow. This here. This would be the only one. If that's what you mean. Um, let me get where I am here. How do I clean my makeup brushes? I use, um, like Dawn dish soap and I only get the bristles wet. I don't get the whole, like, brush, the whole wand wet because I know that can ruin the brushes. So I just kind of swish the brush around and I wipe it with my, with the towel. And then I come in a, like, a little, other, another towel to dry. Very boring, I know. It's, it's, I'm sure people are using other things, but... I use dish soap and it works just fine for me. Um, last question. When did you start wearing makeup? This might shock you guys. This might actually shock you all. I started wearing makeup when I was 11 years old. My mother let me get into makeup. When I was 11, my mother put me into a modeling school and I got to sit for a couple hours and just play with makeup. Just sit and put makeup on. And it was the best experience ever. No regrets. I mean, I, I had so much fun then when I got to go to this modeling school. And of course, we had to, you know, practice, you know, walking and do all of that type of thing. But the best part of it was to be able to sit there and just play with makeup. All right, you guys. That is it for my Q&A. If you guys have any other questions you'd like to know about me or the channel, please be sure to comment that down below. I hope you guys will enjoy this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you're really into my video today and you like my other content and you're into beauty, why not subscribe? Give that subscribe button down there a little smash and don't forget to click on that notification bell. Don't forget to like, comment, and I look forward to seeing all of you in the next video. Bye, everyone.